what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Now I'm going to show you how I set up my TVs for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So there is no official multi-monitor support, but hopefully soon. And what I have enabled now is NVIDIA Surround. And if you open up the menu here, you see it just makes all three screens uh, one. And my resolution, I have set to 5848 by 1080. I'm not using the, the higher resolution there. And Microsoft Flight Simulator in the graphic settings, I have the lens correction set to on. And under the camera settings, I increased my zoom to 55. All right, I got the Beechcraft Baron loaded up here. And as you can see on the side monitors, it's not looking too good inside the cockpit. In X-Plane 11, you're able to control the field of view and visual offsets for each screen. So you can make it basically look perfect, get the wings in view and all that stuff. But here, um, basically all you can do is just move around inside of the cockpit and you can use the scroll wheel on the mouse to zoom in and out but basically all i'm doing is i'm moving my position all the way zoomed in so that i just get a window view and let's say i wanted to save this all you do is just push or you hold control alt and any number any one of these numbers so every single time you load up the airplane, if you want to go to that view, then you just push up and that number. And so basically that, that's, this is it. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just zoomed all the way in. You can see the outside doesn't look too bad. But I'm still waiting for um, some proper multi-monitor support. 